Isso é isso da 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 We have nine. So we have nine Rudianes that must be there representing the voice of their families. Then you have, uh, and he, Naganyagahaga, he sits with what people know as the Seneca, okay? And he has eight families. So he has eight Rudianes that sit there. Across the other side of the house, there sits what people know, the Oneida. They have nine. So nine families they represent, so they have nine representatives. Cayuga, he has ten families. So he represents ten. So there's the ten titles that are there. The Anadagas have the 13 titles, 13 families. So they have to have the 13 Rodianeses there. The 50th title, he has no family like the others do. And that's the title of Adudaho. And Adudaho, he can, the, the original, according to the story, the original Adudaho was an Anadaga. But the thing is, it's Adudaho is a responsibility. And the Adudaho can be chosen by the council and uh, from any one of the families, any of the 49 families. He doesn't necessarily have to be on a dog. He could be Ganyagahaga or on your dog, Gayuagahaga. It doesn't matter. It's what they have come to an agreement is that they need to appoint somebody that is going to hold that responsibility. And that person who becomes the Adodaha need to understand that everybody, like, is his family now. And. W- and Adotaho means to we you quatotaho. We he can he connects us all. That's why we are all his family. And he has to represent each and every family equally. He cannot play favorites or anything. But when he holds this title, doesn't matter what family he comes from, he has to reside at Anadaga. So the people will always know where to send the runners to request for a grand council. Okay, the big fire. And uh, so that's where they're going to find him. And so he's not supposed to leave that territory. He's supposed to always be, as long as he is holds that responsibility, he must stay there. And uh, so when the runners go over there and bring him the issues, the concerns, he will consult with the Anadagas that are there. But remember, he only consults with them to help him. And uh, so then he makes the decision if he should send out the runners to the 49 families to call them that there's an urgent matter that needs to be taken care of or a, 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 a matter of great importance. And he has to determine this if it calls for a grand council. And uh, so that's his job. And, uh, and he's the one, he has no power. He has no powers. What he has is a responsibility. And so when the gathering comes, he's to take out that Ojokwan Haksta. Mm-hmm. He's to lay it out. Then he does a roll call. And uh, and he to see what families are being represented. And as they rep- as he calls out the, the roll call, if your if your Doyana is there your string will go into the circle. And he'll keep doing that to, until every one of the, uh, the roll call is done. And then they're put in there. And, uh, and the council, then they can move forward. But one thing is that there has to be nine Ganyakehaga representatives there. If there is not nine, they can't pass anything. They can discuss the matter but they can't pass anything unless all nine Ganyagehaga are present. And uh, because the Ganyagehaga was given that respect from all of them, 
because he was the Ganyagahaga was the first to accept the great peace.